I swear to Jesus. If some motherfucker comes up there and tries to cut me off, that's it. I'm jumping out of this motherfucker. <laughs> Freaking crowded. There's a couple people here. Ain't too bad. Yo, if I was um traveling, yeah, this would be the last fucking place I'd stop. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that now. Like, no, no, we're not stopping there. This is fucking two hours stop. We're only here for two reasons. Number one brisket number two beaver suit <laughs> we're not getting a damn beaver suit yes we are no we're not yes we are um no we're not yes we are we might not even get a I'm parking gonna, spot i'm gonna get a beaver suit <laughs> this might be one of them well, you can just go on in and look around i'll just drive around the park get a beaver suit it's gonna happen this is insane, dude. Okay, there's two. There's two people. Kind like, of fucking she said. It'd be nice. Yeah, that's what she said. I, I didn't know. Apparently, I'm just guessing. They better know parking spots. They're two thousand years later. Wait, I think. That, oh, yep, yep, yep. You got it. Put your turn signal on, yo. Woo. I swear to Jesus, if some motherfucker <laughs> comes up there and tries to cut me off, that's it. I'm jumping out of this motherfucker and throwing a flip flop at him. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're on the back side. We, we can't even see the front. Come on, get your shit and get in the car. <laughs> Jeez. Beaver suit's going to be so worth it. Yes, you are. What is that? Fire lane, no parking. Who the hell would do that? This is actually not as bad as that we tried to park at the Roswell Mill that time. Oh, yeah, that was something. Well, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back, travel to Tommy and Lloyd. Stop that, looking away from the camera. That is the biggest beaver I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> We're at we made it to Bucky's. Bucky's. We finally got one. It opened last weekend. We're so excited. Yeah, we watched a bunch of our uh, fellow compadre travelers uh, go to different ones, and they finally gave us one up here on uh, 75 north of Atlanta. So we had to come try. This place is crazy. It there's, is, though. It's so crowded. There's like 500 million people here. I'm going to get a beaver suit. You should get one damn beaver suit. Yeah, I am. I bet y'all. If you want to see me walking around in our vlogs in a beaver suit, y'all buy it. <laughs> leave a comment down below. <laughs> they had two beavers in one. <laughs> well, let's go see what's in Bucky's. Yep, let's go see. We've never been to one, so. No, no, no. Never heard of one until we've seen it on travel vlogs. Yeah. So, um, because we didn't have anything like that. Nope. Let's go. Oh, yeah. They got grills. That's expensive. Well. Hey, that's cat food. What? Cat food. Looks like it's pretty heavy duty though. It, it's heavy, heavy duty. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. That and you're buying a grill at a gas station. Yeah, it makes sense, right? I bet you buy it in the same place. Well. That's cute. Coolers. Wine. Seed spreaders. Dang. Halloween shirts. 
There's the wall of jerky. Looks like that side is more our side. Oh, I need that. I need it. Well, I'm gonna have to. There's a bus. on a stick. These guys are hustling. Yeah, it's crazy. They're sold out. They're sold out. I've got cotton, survival stuff, carabiners. Well, you today's your lucky day. They're out of the beavers. So let's put them on the display. Gone. Everybody in the world wanted to be here. <laughs> oh yes, she will be mine. It's not the same, Tommy. Well, Tommy, you need one of them. Looks kind of like that uh, Yeti scout. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. Wow. Hey, look, that's, that'd be a deal for my squirrels. $8.99, how much we pay? Oh, ooh, look at that fire pit. Yeah, 200 dollars So, is that madness or what? That's crazy. We're gonna find somewhere to eat. It's yeah, crazy. It's, it's like a restaurant in there. 
and a Walmart. It's not cheap though. Tommy's tripping over the uh, price of the ice. I mean, that's a 20 pound bag for 99 cents. That's pretty good. That's really good. If I had a cooler, I'd get smothered. <laughs> you can buy a cooler in there. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> that's the smoker I want. Yeah, that's nice, that's isn't it? That's the smoker I want. Can you hang? Yeah. Can you out? <laughs> Hands. Yeah, I would much. I would pay twelve hundred dollars before I pay four. Well, yeah. This little bitty thing right there. I think it's a pretty cool place. It is a cool place. But it's it's not cheap. Man. And they got all kinds of stuff in there. They do. They got like everything. What does this, what does this say? We gotta have one. What, what is it? What the hell? Hey, that is a deal stand. What? Nuh-uh. Well, unless I can't read. Uncle Dan's deer stand. Yeah, that's what it says. That's a feeder. Yeah, these are feeders. Well, we need that for the squirrels. That place is madness. Yeah, the guy that checked us out said that it hadn't been like this at all, but this is the first full weekend that they've been open, and it's been like this since this morning. I mean, when people will circle a gas station. Ooh, hey, 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 what's up? To find Dang, a, Gina. To find a, can you sound more damn redneck? I mean, I might. Might. But when people will circle the parking lot like sharks looking for a parking spot and a gas station, it is ridiculous. Well, all I got to say is better be some damn good brisket. I doubt it, but no, nah, it looked really good. Yeah. <laughs> it looked really good. I'm a snob when it comes to barbecue because most people don't know what they're doing. But uh, it looked really good. I mean, they, they're chopping it right in front of you. Um, that brisket sliced like butter. Yeah, it looked really good. All right, well, let me look up this address. We're going to go park and eat. You think that was bad? You wait till freaking water burger shows up. Oh, uh, there won't be two or three people there. Bullshit. Bullshit. Water burger's going to get mob. Mob. Tommy, you yes. jujued me on that. Bucky suit. I did not. It's you did. Not, you put a hex on it. It is not my fault they you were sold out. You put a hex on it. It was not my fault they were sold out. She literally. How much were they? I don't know. See, uh, no. She literally, literally just put the display out. Or just put the new inventory out and it was gone. She's over there stacking or stocking the t-shirts for another display. Yeah. And I asked her where the suits were. She's like, they're gone already. And she walked over there and she's like, holy shit. You well, I didn't it. have no part you in that. It. I had no part in the, the beaver suit. They had one left on the mannequin, but I don't even think I could have gotten my that. That would fit my confidence. <laughs> it's like a third grader. So now we're headed to downtown Adairsville. We were in Calhoun. We've never Georgia. been to Adairsville never before. Never been downtown Adairsville. So, uh, watch this guy. That's some kind of market. Was it? I think so, yeah. I thought it was a damn car lot. No, I think it's some, I don't know, maybe it was, I don't know. Well, we'll go check out downtown, then we'll see if that's, if that's not one, we'll stop at that point out there on, uh, 515 on the way back. Maybe they'll have a Bucky's Beaver It might even end the camera. Yes. <laughs> Since you, you were looking out the window. Well, you were talking. So, uh, let's see uh, what a downtown 
a Durs rule has to offer. All right. For y'all that don't know, if y'all know who Cletus T is, Cletus T. Judd is from a Durs rule. <laughs> He made, he, he's the country of Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. If you know who that is. I love these buildings. Got a cute pavilion. downtown of Dares. They're at the Railroad History Museum and Railroad Welcome Center. Yeah. So we check that out. We got a guy over here playing live music yeah. here. Just him and his guitar. That's nice. This town is really cute. Not a whole lot of activity. Um no he's the only one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nobody's out walking the streets or anything, but the buildings are beautiful. Yeah it's pretty uh hey hometown karaoke. Oh Lord. So we're gonna go in there and buy karaoke equipment. Right, or sing karaoke. Maybe. Um, I got a picture of Tommy singing karaoke. That was fun. <laughs> well, let's go check this out. They close at three, so we want to go. Yeah, try see, to see if we can get in there before they close. Do it quick. Then we can eat. <laughs> it says push red butter button to enter. Butter button. No. Hey, I hear something. It looks like it's. Maybe they closed up. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's cool. All steps. Are y'all friends here? Or? No, uh, we live in Gainesville. Oh, okay. So it's not going too far. We came up to see the new buttons. Oh, did you? <laughs> Boy, that was an adventure. Yeah. Oh. We, we do travel vlogs and we, we try to look up stuff around this area so we go out this way. Okay. Oh, look, they got about the great look of Chase Tommy. Yes, yeah, we're supposed to have that October 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Oh, it's kind of. Press red button one time. Train runs for 10 minutes. <sighs> Tommy, look. That's so cool. Man, that's so cool. I love this building. It's old road torches. Oh, look. So this is all about the great locomotive chase here. Six raiders were exchanged, eight raiders escaped, eight raiders were hanged.
too. I'm a sucker for old buildings anyway. That is awesome. Such a beautiful building too. I think so. I love that desk. I know that they built that in. Yes. So cool. You can actually put it on the general cycle and she wash it. So what does it have on the road? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but they're 35 piece. And um, I'm in the San Susi Club. All the San Susi movers volunteer for you know, it's volunteer time. Um, but when we sell a rug, we do get that money, but that money goes to scholarships and goes back to everything in the city. It doesn't go anywhere. That's awesome. Which is, I love that. We give a thousand dollars scholarship away every year to one of the dinner school students. So it helps with that. We do backpack things and we just do some things. Oh, look. A Victrola. Yeah. We collect them. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Sure do. Well, you would love one that I had because it was my dad's and it's the, what? The, the cabinet. And then it opens, you know, and um, it's uh, mahogany. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have we have one. It. Yeah, I don't. yeah, my brother loves it too. Surgical equipment. Yeah, that is really cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> half of you, you know. Yeah, half of you probably. You know, yeah. You probably want to leave that alone. <laughs> it's beautiful, though. I think it is. I love that coral color. Yeah, I do too. I like it better than I do with bright red. Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, sure is. Monopoly. Mm -hmm. Pretty boy Floyd. Pretty boy Floyd, yeah. Famous gangster. He uh, was raised here from 1903 to 1911. I did not know that. And then he, they moved, family moved to Oklahoma. And that's when he got into trouble. Because there was a lot of gangsters. Now. Yeah. This guy didn't know it at the time. I guess the Cowboys and Chicago. Jesse James yeah. and all those. Bonnie yeah. Clyde, all those were out there. And so he... They've been fun. It's pretty cool for a free museum, man. You need all the shots to catch. Got our buckies. What we got? Let's see what we got. Pulled pork barbecue. Check. Then we got a sliced brisket. Check, check. Then we have a chopped brisket. Check. And then we have <laughs> dun, 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 dun. a sausage on a stick wrapped in a tortilla. Check, check, check. We're going to sit out here. Downtown Adairsville next to the uh, Adairsville Depot, train depot. Yep. But this town is so freaking cute. So cute. But we're gonna eat. And uh let's see what this looks like. Alright. I'm gonna let's open see. it. This is sliced brisket. Is that what we're going for first? Yeah. Let's see what they look like. Looks good. What do you think? So that's the sliced. 
And this is the chopped brisket. Smells good. Smells really good. And then we have the pulled, pulled pork. Looks that, good. That looks good. All right. And then, and then unwrap your wiener. She don't ask that too often, so I gotta hurry up. <laughs> How to get it out. <laughs> Is this your first time? There we go. That's a pretty big wiener. It's all right. It's medium size. <laughs> all right. All right. We're going to share this. So you want to take a first bite of something? Um, I'm going to go with the pulled uh, pork first. Okay. Is it good? It's good. Because you're a barbecue snob. We got no napkins. Oh, no, yes, we do in the console of the car. I mean, we got them in the car. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right. A little sweet. Uh-oh. A little sweet. You know, I'm, I'm a sauce snob, so. Yeah. All right. So you're probably going to go with that. The brisket. Slice yeah. brisket there. All right. We'll be back. We couldn't eat it all. I could have. I couldn't. Just no, I, I was done. I already want to fall asleep on the way home. I know. drive so far away. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my favorite, was, and it don't make any sense, was the chopped brisket over the sliced brisket. Because it just seemed like it had more little burnt crispy pieces in mm -hmm. it and more barbecue sauce, and it all went together very well. It seemed like it was different sauce, too, on all three. Yeah, but the pulled pork was good for me. I think the... Uh, you liked the wiener, didn't you? I did. I think <laughs> uh, between the uh, chopped brisket and the uh, wrap sausage, that was pretty good. That's it was a good sausage. It was... Uh, you could tell it wasn't uh, mass-produced. If I ever found myself in a Bucky's, I would highly recommend getting their barbecue. Yeah, it's, whether, it, will, it was really good. Whether you're going to get the uh, pulled pork or you're going to get the chopped brisket or sliced brisket, it's all good. You can't yeah. go wrong. For I agree. For a 5 dollars sandwich. Yep. So Tommy just asked me how my adventure to Bucky's was. And I wasn't disappointed, but it was so freaking crowded in there that you really couldn't look at anything because you were literally shoulder to shoulder pushing shoving people were pushing shoving and it was just it was too much so maybe i'll give it a revisit after the new wears off a little bit and uh it's not quite so crazy in there and i'm gonna get me a beaver suit <laughs> that's gonna happen that's gonna happen downtown of daresville downtown of daresville now i don't know where these people are there's literally nobody out here and the lady at the depot said that, that they had been setting up every Saturday and doing music on the square, but that the last two weeks, bands have canceled because they're afraid of the COVID. So some poor guy, you, you saw him in our video, he was out there singing. That's why he was out there is because he showed up to play with one of the bands and apparently they didn't let them know that they had canceled it. But Depot was a lot of fun. It was awesome, especially to be free. And that lady was so knowledgeable, and apparently it's volunteers that run it. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool. They volunteered to work there on Saturday, yep. which is awesome. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, very, uh, we love the railroad scene, the, uh, the history of it. Yeah, we do. And, you know, of course, we got the, the great chase, I mean, you can't go wrong with the railroad. Yeah, system. I was pretty excited to see that that display in there and she said that uh they're having a railroad festival uh well actually it's the great american 
Y'all were at Chase Festival. Festival, yeah. October 1st. 1st through the 3rd. But um, they're going to close the museum down. Everything's going to be outside because they yeah. just want to be cautious with COVID and everything. But the town is damn cute. I mean, it really is. It's, it's adorable. They're just... Nobody's outside. Yeah, there's cars here, but there's nobody outside. Nobody's walking around. I don't know. Just, but, just in case you're wondering, it's oh, okay. 71 miles back home, which translates through the mountains at an hour and 31 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. it'll be 440 before we get back. Yep. Anyway, as far as Bucky's food went, my hair is rough today. As far as Bucky's food went, the food was pretty good. Um, yeah. It wasn't gas station barbecue. It, no, it wasn't. The brisket, you didn't even need teeth to chew it. I mean, it was. Or cheese, either one. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an asshole. But I, you mess up one word, one word when you're talking and. You never hear the end of it. You don't even need cheese to eat this. I'm like, I was what excited. What the hell are you talking about? I was excited. Teeth. Oh, okay. The other cheese word. Well, you didn't didn't need cheese either. <laughs> I mean, no, you didn't need anything. On it pickles. was really pickles good. Pickles would have been good. Yeah, pickles would have been, especially on the pulled pork. Yeah. But I, pick, I like pickles on everything anyway. But my only thing with the pulled pork, and this is just this is just a preference thing with me. I know that most people doesn't bother or whatever i don't like those big globs of gooey fat and vein thing in there and i was in the pulled pork was was gonna be my favorite until i bit into that and then i was like oh sorry so i'm gonna go with the chopped brisket and then that sausage thing i really liked it like i said it didn't taste like it was generic or mass produced some lady standing on the corner just literally staring down <laughs> well anyway but so now we're gonna go home so thanks for coming with us it was fun it was fun well, well all right, right. <laughs> welcome back it cracks me up Today, every time we headed to bucky's <laughs> and i'm telling you what if you have a bucky's around you i would highly suggest yeah, to go real. in there and get something Yes. They have so much stuff in there. That was my favorite. We, I love the sauce. We just pick the highlights of what most people would probably buy, but they they got chicken, they got jerky, they got it all. So Tacos, burritos, you, you can, can get stuff custom made. I'm sure everything in there is good. It was so crowded in there that basically we did the walkthrough, which y'all saw, and then we grabbed our food and got the hell out. Yeah. yeah. Neither Tommy or I really care for crowds, no, like not huge like crowds that. like that. No, Especially like when people are like moving you out of the way. It's kind of like Vegas. Yeah. And then we went downtown to Bearsville to uh, enjoy our lunch, as you've seen. And it was really good. Went uh, to the, the train museum. Yeah, the downtown area was really nice. Laid out really nice. Then we went over to the train depot museum. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of authentic uh, parts in there. Highly recommend going there, but if you do and you want to buy anything, and they, they have some cool souvenirs. Yeah, I forgot about that. Make sure you bring cash. Yep. Um, the blankets that you're about to see are not for sale, but um, they do make rugs and stuff there. That are for sale. On that, on that loom. Yeah, yeah. So, I, forget, I forget how old the loom was, 100 and something years yeah. old loom. But. They, uh, they make the rugs there, and I wanted to buy a rug. I was going to buy it for our tent. And I was going to buy a set of earrings. They had some cool train earrings, yep. but cash it, was, only. it was cash only. So make sure you take cash and donations are definitely welcome. welcomed. Uh, a perfect little trip. It was. It was. It, I highly recommend both places. Yep. I, I hope Bucky's thins out a little bit because I'm going to get me a beaver suit. <laughs> I'm going to get me a beaver suit. And if I got to ride up there in the middle of the damn day one day, I'm going to get me a beaver suit. But I don't want to fight a crowd for it. So. Yeah, so. But anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Till next time, bye-bye. Stay, Stay spicy. spicy.